Mira. Hey guys, welcome to, oh, give me a sec. Welcome to a new Nighthawk Media Game tutorial. I'm Nathan and, well, I'm at my pop's house at the moment. So I'm showing this game tutorial from my, well, this extra bedroom. So I put my laptop, I've got GIMP and all, well, I've also installed the new Adobe software, um, well, not new, um, CS3, all of CS3. Um, so I've got an Illustrator, Photoshop, it's starting to come together really well. I've had it for like four days now. So I'm just going to start my screen recorder. Alright, so I have changed my car, um, slightly compared to the other tutorials. I've repainted the brakes and the whole car itself. So um shouldn't really affect the um how the gift tutorials are being shot. So um yeah, on with the tutorial. So today's tutorial is about making neons. So what I'm gonna do is make a new new layer on top of everything else. I'm gonna hide the background layer. So we've got a transparent background. And because we're dealing with white colours and we can't have it really on top of on top of the car, the transparency is gonna help with um with seeing everything. Alright, so we made a new layer. What I'm gonna do is make a path sorta of the width like a little less than the width of the um of the body of the side skirts. Huh. Now I'm going, so once you made that path, press stroke path, and it's going to be 9 pixels. Uh, let's go 10 actually. That'll have to do. Alright, so once we've done that, I'm going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, or however you say it. Somebody please tell me how you say it. Here it is. Uh, I'm gonna go... That's five pixels go. Let's go seven, eight. Eight's good. Eight is really good. Make a new layout. This is gonna be behind the white layout. Swap the colors from your from white to your neon color, and stroke path. And we're going to double the size of the white, so mine will be twenty. I'm going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And this is going to be quite a big blur. Twenty. I'm not actually so sure that's quite a big number, but anyway. Just gonna hit the transparency and this is not gonna work. Uh yeah, that's fine. So press the move tool or another tool to have a good look at the path. Yep, I think that's pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate both of the layers, hide the originals, and merge the duplicates together. And the jubil the original ones are going to be the um well they are the archive files uh, or resource files. And I'm just going to keep them there for if I need them in the future, like if I want to change the color or something. But these ones have been merged together. I'm going to move. Actually, first I'm going to go layer auto crop, and that cuts the layer right back. Now I'm going to oh I'm on the wrong layer. Right, see how that goes. Merge. Okay, I think that's all good. Auto crop the layer. I'm gonna move that so it's half, half and half. So half of it's on the top and invisible behind the side skirt, and the other half will be visible. Oh, 
might go just over half actually. Anyway, so once that's done, we're going to move that a fair way back. Probably all the way back. And now I'm going to zoom out. To have a good look at what at what our neons look like, let's make a new layer and we'll fill that with black. Neon looks really good. Um, you could even make some a ne a smaller neon at the on the front bumper to add to it. That could that could work. That could look good. And yeah, so that I think that's it for today's tutorial. The next tutorial will be about the finishing touches. So we're going to make a whole new background and we're going to, you know, as I said, the, um, you know, do the finishing touches. So thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye. Uh, oh, this one here. No. Wait. I can do this. Stop. Okay, stop. Yes, done it. Do 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 screen dot avi. Oh, ah. So yes, stay tuned for the next tutorial.